Uh, this is this is actually the funniest thing in the world. Times two bombs, but I have no bombs. Versus refresh crit, but I have no refreshes. So my next run was going to be a Crucy 17th to invent run. It should be pretty fun. I'm starting around guy that's a bit too tempting to turn down. I could have taken the extra max health after each fight, but I don't think so. Oh whoa, I'm liking the look of this map. It's just a very spicy start to be honest. Oh yeah, nice ramp, I totally forgot about that. I love it. It's an exceptionally good passive for a reason. Yes, no, we are definitely going this way. Rallying, it's fine. Um, maybe we do Pebble Comp. As we all know, Pebble Comp has amazing synergy with Ground Guard. <laughs> stuff I'm pretty sure we can just get a rainbow slime kill especially if we're gonna keep any our bombs like that. Bomb if you would be so kind thank you very much. Oh, that's nice to see we're not really going to be able to capitalize on collecting the cash at all. So there was the sword so if I had taken the two extra max health yeah like it did generate us a bit of extra cash being able to kill it there. Obviously it doesn't really matter though. All right. Round God is extremely nice this fight. Rolling Hearts doing nothing. Let's just play it normally. We're gonna keep smashing the tree. And take who knows how much damage from these two green slimes. Because the thing is, they're only smacking you for. Okay. We're taking zero damage from them. <laughs> That's not much. That's not ideal. I really prefer to delay the fight and get some extra damage on tree for a while. But we can play this game too. Kind of still just need some more damage on Noah. Why didn't I go through? Interesting. Great stuff, great stuff. Uh, I do just need to burn through tree right now. Like we're lined up pretty well to do so though. Not quite, not quite. Oh well. Like 23? Sure you can get 23, okay good. But I was not exactly expecting it. We'll be aiming for the bomb. Stuff, let's hit my sphere now. Damn. Extremely unfortunate. Oh well. Oh, and okay, it doesn't matter. Oh, come on. The shot that I was looking for has just evaded me the entire time there. There's a rubble. Uh, don't think we're going to be taking anything. Let's see what passive you get. Your crit's also refresh, not bad. I'm just not going to even consider Lucky Penny there. Um, crit also refresh is a decent passive to have in general. On Blend it's obviously a lot less decent, but much better suited for this boss. Yep, this is a much nicer fight than the previous one, especially if we don't hit our uh, bombs this time. Because hitting the early bombs is... Uh, classic, right? Yeah, but hitting the early bombs is generally not what I like to do. It's not too bad, especially since, well, I mean, it is unfortunate that I only killed one slime, but it does mean that the green slimes do get to live and can continue to spec me for a while, which is, you know, technically what I was aiming for, just not fully. Alright, seems like we're just popping the bombs now. I'm not complaining though, we did uh, do an exceptionally good job of just bursting down the tree so far. So it kind of just works out. Although ideally the uh, 
Red Slime ate a lot of the bombs there, and uh, unfortunately he didn't, because he can just be a bit annoying. But he's still having 10 hits, okay. Not anymore. Great stuff, a little bit of round guard action there. And then we finish it with a sphere. Setting it an easy 200 cash for the store. Why do I not take that? Yeah, it's actually not the best pick here, you know. It's a solid pick, but I'm feeling like it may not be the best idea this run. Okay. I think we know what we're taking here. Alchemist is quite decent. Honestly, though, both of them are very, very decent, but um, I think we'll just take Alchemist there. I get the feeling it'll lean into more of what we're doing this run, because I'm not sure how much Bulk is going to play a part of it. Now, Bust is a very decent all to be shooting. It may not be the kind of thing we want to be doing this run. Damn. That could hit. Thank you very much. Really nice to not lose health in fights like this. Let's make sure we're at 230 cash before the store. I may or may not get another chance to collect up cash. And I would absolutely love to be able to buy a remove, especially since I have a round guard in my deck. It's very decent, but obviously just off. Still just off. Oh well. I just don't get the feeling that I'm going to uh, get a fight here. Imagine I get an elite, that'd be cool. Okay, so we can't do round navigation, so we are definitely just taking the blue lightning. Luckily it's a level 2. I remember the good old days where I would pray for level 2s there. Now I'm kind of just fine with level 1s anyway. So yeah, we don't get the remove. We could take an oh my god, yeah. Yeah, I considered it. It's very decent AoE, and having AoE can be very nice. However, we have one of the Sure, it's fine. We have one of the best sources of AoE ever. That's good book. Now it's not the best best. I don't know who gets that award. <laughs> But it is really quite good. I mean, Reflow Buster is an extremely cheap form of it, so I guess that would make sense. Oh, this is probably just like an Alchemist Cookbook or a Recombobulator. Probably Alchemist Cookbook because Recombobulator is much more limited technically. It's a constant stream of value, whereas Alchemist Cookbook can uh, help you out in any situation. Recombobulator requires some specific situations and it will provide a constant source of value. Which is very, very valuable to have a lot of the time. Especially if you have like. Or. Or Bombaton. Okay. Good stuff. As long as we're getting our elite. I'm happy. Triple slime drop? No. Okay. More than fine to not get triple slime drop. How important is level 3 lightning also for the boss? It's actually decent, so I'll definitely consider it. I actually did want the crit there for the refresh. I'll do this. Okay. I mean, fine by me. Like, I got the kill on the first plant before he got to hit me, and now I get off in 100 damage. I took two hits in a plant fight. That is just so lovely. Um, yeah, I'll just upgrade the lightning on. Taking it to a 202 is pretty good. Especially when I have Ian's Rock. That's pretty damn amazing. Um, yep, let's just heal up. Boom, we're basically at full health. We really don't need it though, because it's Maul. Our first three hits are hitting Maul. Generally when you enter the Maul fight and you're saying that, you kind of just win. And especially when we already have Alchemist Cookbook. Yeah. Alchemist Cookbook is just a very decent source of AoE, and Mole is a fight that, like, even just having Bomb Baton against Mole, it's a pretty big deal. Just any source of AoE is really helpful against him. Oh my god, I have Bad Cheese as well. I'm sure Bad Cheese will do something. Even just 20 extra AoE damage can be handy. Most of the time, though, I don't expect it too much. I did not mean to shoot that. I wanted to try and collect a bit more cash. Like, obviously here, Poltergeist would usually be a really good pick, because it's really decent AoE. But now I'm just going to add the Jackal Blend into my deck. That's a very spicy idea. 
I can't take on pretentious Samuel as my boss passive anymore. That should be fine by me though. I think my setup kind of means that I just don't need to. Uh huh. Yeah, seems good. Seems good. I'll just do a classic shot like that. Definitely wasn't the craziest, but it got some decent damage out. Oh my god, did I just target the last enemy with a... I did, didn't I? Yikes. Oh my god, Jackalban is so good. Now, I didn't upgrade Jackalban landing there immediately because I didn't know where the store was. And I wanted to make sure I had cash saved for it, in any case. And that's definitely an instant upgrade target. It's so good, especially with Morbid. Like, Morbid Jackalban in Aliens Rock with a two, uh, it being a 2-2. Two -two. What more do you want? So we have we have healing as well. We have healing, a good wing condition, like we just have everything we need. <laughs> it's crazy. Let's just keep throwing out our shots. It's probably just going to get yeah, get lost in the uh, right or left hand side and do pretty minimal stuff. But I'm here for the times where it doesn't do that. It also just sets up, us up extremely well into Resistance Knight, and uh, if you want to succeed in Crucible levels, making sure that you're set up into Resistance Knight can just be pretty damn important. Because you can steal away way more of your health than you want to start with. None of those say the word targeting, so I'll pass. This is unfortunate. Quite unfortunate. I would really love to go that way. Thank you. I appreciate it. 62 damage for 17 gold. That is an absolute joke. Actually, just a joke. Yeah, we have good healing, but it's not that crazy. Uh, navigation Inflation Super Boots is always a really nice combo to have. It means that we can just greed for as long as we want. And of course, we got the aforementioned Resistance Knight. So, let's let Jack of do its work, switch its forms, get a pretty decent amount of damage in there too. Refresh the other board, just in case it would refresh normally. I, I wouldn't, I don't know if it would. They're gonna take a bit of range damage here. That's fine. It's not too bad. Oh, there's refreshes on the board? That's cool. I'm not used to having that. Go on, walk forward, I dare you. Yep. Like I said, Having targeting all orbs is just really nice to deal with the Resistance Knight, and we just have completely dealt with the Resistance Knight this fight. Like, we lost 3 health in a Resistance Knight fight. So at the last second he decided to screw up our navigation. Luckily it doesn't matter. You know what does matter though? Another ball landing. Uh, it's right there, 2 fights. I'll hold off. It's definitely a good upgrade though. Pierce the Knuckles. Knuckles is less useful, I'm not exactly planning around it, in fact I'm trying to keep my crits on the board. But I'm actually doing targeting orbs, so I will just take Knuckles. Like, Primer is an amazing passive, but I just don't think it's for now. Let's make sure our targeting's correct, and let's shoot roughly in the middle so that when we go down again we can hit that crit. Then we actually get a refresh, and although we can generate a lot of uh, damage without pigs being on the board, it is handy to have pigs on the board so that it slows down the uh, drop for Jackal Black. Pretty solid first shot, I'd say. Pretty solid. Oh, I thought I aimed straight at that crit. Apparently not. Silly me. I keep shooting a bit early. It still just works out though. Not a surprise, we've got a very, very solid setup here. Our passives have just worked out. Just working together exceptionally well. Uh, yeah, Reefer Circle would usually be extremely good here, but I've kind of already got a targeting orb stuff set up, so I'm not going to bother with it. I will bother it later with it later though, probably. But it's the kind of thing where I'd rather wait and see what my Bok passive is first before I connect to a Reefer Circle, because it is very very good. So I just want to see how good it'll be with my second boss passive. not actually need an extra refresh source such as that one. And I don't yet have ambidextrin, so the discard button is still kind of hard for me to press, but obviously not too hard. You know, I don't have, like, uh, still conviction.
Great stuff, good cash. Let's pop some more pets here because I want to go right. Do I? Yeah, I want to go right. Relation is a funny orb. I'm not taking it. That was a really bad shot. Luckily I wasn't punished for it. I was punished for it. Uh, I want to go to the shop here. Right? Yeah. It's kind of unfortunate, but um, I just want to go to the store here. Four moves is one of the reasons. That is an absolute nuts event. Like the runs where you get that event and the runs where you don't get that event, they just make such a difference. I could actually play with the new and improved memo of this fight. 0 0.66 damage for each peg hit this battle. So it uses the terminology hit. And the problem I have with that is does Defresh Potion work with it? And does Lightning Orb work with it? Because they say zaps and uh, activate. God, I, I want Memo to actually be decent. Surely if there's a run that can do it, it's a bunch of Lightning Orbs in the deck with Morbid. Because surely both of them also work with it. So we can shoot it once we battle shot. Now uh, we actually have some decent scaling when we hit refreshes as well. To the point where I would 100% take a leaves the rest for later if we get offered it. Oh, will I though? God, it would have been really good, but I'm gonna bloody half my refreshes. I'll just try and stock up my mob. Oh, you know what? Plus 75 is actually not that bad. Maybe I was too harsh on Mimble. That's not very likely that I wasn't, but maybe I was. I don't know, this is the reason why I took it, because I really haven't actually played with it since the buff. Straight up. And so I just wanted to see what it was like. Can they make picks dull if they don't exist because they were bombs previously? Surely not, right? 100% taking that. I need the stats and I need the refresh. Well, I don't really need the refresh, but I definitely want the stats. Okay, let's just work on their health. One more prop till the freshicles, two until knuckles. Let's try and get a crit here. Good stuff. One of the unfortunate things about only having crits for our refreshes and not having refreshes for our refreshes is if you hit a crit, it goes away. Whereas if you hit a re refresh, it reshuffles itself. I rolled full in a circle. Now that is decent, except any time I wish to hit a refresh, I'm forced to crit. I have a fresh shield actually, that is lovely. Uh, I'm not getting gonna, gonna get a shield later, so let's shoot it now. So that was actually very decent damage, and we get to double that, so... Ugh. It's kind of good because it's a level 1 orb. And the level 3 version is just... Still not that interesting, is it? Uh... I would definitely upgrade it, and I think it will actually do decently well this run. But I'm... Uh, I think that it would have just been better if it was other orbs. Which is unfortunate, because... Uh... I have always been a memo enjoyer. Ever since the days where it was added, honestly, I think. Demo. Um, yeah. Memo Matioska, the good old days, right? Let's check some more upgrades on it. I want to get it to this point, and I guess let's also remove the can only be used once per battle effect. None of those say the word targeting. Renewed if I take. I don't know, I might actually still take it here if I get off of it. I didn't get off of it. Um. Yeah, that just seems worth it. I'm gonna play a soul crit comp on... <laughs> yeah, okay. But this is what I mean by Blen can just play these positive crit comps. Like, I'm just turning my crit into a positive effect, and I literally have no refreshes. Which, let me tell you, that's about what's the opposite of what you actually want to be doing on Blen. You know, ideally you're... Wow, like, that's actually a lot of damage. Ideally, you're getting tons and tons of refreshes and you have absolutely zero crits on the wall. That's that's what you really want. Like 76, that's, that's not that bad. Anyway, let's check with the stores. I want to get some upgrades on Memo. But it looks like I'm doing double store. So maybe I leave it to events to upgrade it. Haha. -ha. 
25. Maybe just five. I wasn't paying the most attention. I have navigation inflation, so every little bit of cash to fund my stores would be very nice. Now, usually I would say Unicorn Horn is very nice to improve our boss passive options, make heavy hand a little bit better, but I kind of already have both boss passives, so it doesn't really help out there. That being said, I do just like Unicorn Horn. It is a very fun passive. You know who's not a very fun fight? This guy. Let's get this fight over and done with. Um, I'm just going to burn the memo immediately. Not because I want the memo out of my deck, but just because I want to make sure I'm shooting my good orbs constantly. Ah, this is yet another unfortunate fight where Jack or Blanton is not going to get to achieve what it wants to achieve. It's always unfortunate because it can do some amazing stuff. But the black holes really can just mess it up. Like Jack O'Bland would be so much more amazing if it didn't have the uh, black holes. You have a lot of bomb spawning. To the point where I might need to get worried about it if we're flying like Coin Dragon. But I still don't think it's going to be an issue. I imagine we're just going to burn through Coin Dragon, especially with our actually extremely high crit. Can you? Oh, these crits. Um, like we actually just have a very impressive amount of crit damage and some orbs which are very very good at benefiting off of that properly. God, can you uh, can you just finish him at this point? Like, uh, thank you. Not nice. Shaker. I have a lot of bomb stuff, so reactant should get some work done. It's not going to be anything crazy though. Do we have your bomb skill cash? I don't see it. Yeah, as I said, black holes are just extremely unfortunate for it. Surely not, right? Surely not. Yeah, and I was hoping I'd get a crit there. Good news is pretty much all of my shots should just be hitting both of them. This is why I like having access to Unicorn Horn. Absolutely made that shot. 430 exact. Get wrecked. Great stuff. Great stuff. Three. Three's a lot. Like three's actually a very decent amount. So is that. Our navigation has been pretty forced. One, two, three. We have four decent orbs and four bad orbs. And we have um, Refresh Yield Bad Cheese. Is there a way I can. Yeah, there. Refresh Yield Bad Cheese and um, Round Guard. Okay, Jesus. These are good. That is. Fine. Goodbye, Memo. Well, it all was nice while it lasted, but it seems like I didn't manage to ever set it up. Now I'm looking to get my lightning on upgrades, although it's absolutely not necessary. And make sure I've got enough cash for this next door. Oh, and well on stake, nice. Hmm, am I though? If I need the lightning of upgraded. It's been a while since I've cheesed. It's been a very long time since I've cheesed. I really want to get the cash on that side. Should be a pretty amazing shot. It's a Jackal Blannon, what do you expect? Yeah, I could just make this a Jackal Blannon. Just shoot a Jackal Blannon every shot. I could also just cheese every shot, but that's much more boring, so I doubt I'll end up doing that. If you'd be so kind as to get the other one as well. Thank you very much. Don't mind if I do. We have balance. Uh, let me tell you, if we're versing squares right now, I would insta take that. It would be exceptionally good here. Uh, two fights, and we don't have reduce still. Yep, yep, yep. No reduce. Oh, uh, we do get this, which is the. That is an interesting bug. Thank you. Uh, we did get. Oh, both of them, right? Okay, good. We do have my circle uh, gaining effects, so that's just free bulk, which is nice. I actually also did pick up some shield stuff, so I I can still do fortification stuff. Wow, that was rude. If I find it. 
You know, finding fortification at this point is pretty unlikely. I imagine that's just going to get a kill. Nice. You gotta love it. We could have lost a lot more health this combat, so I'm pretty happy with that. in this fight with a small deck uh, even when you don't have a small deck it's always just extremely nice like being able to get a set off these guys without having to take any kind of downside it's just so good especially since the change god my <laughs> don't think you understand how strong the temptation is to just pick up the rubble upgrades level three for the coin dragon like, we have extremely good damage in consuming Chalice. We have extremely good Circle Scaling, just in case we didn't hit a crit as well. We have Powder Collector to generate momentum for the shot. We also have Morbid. Like, do you realize how insane this Rubble would be? Am I allowed to take it here? Like, God, I take it so often. Oh, God. Like, I apologize, Rubble. You are absolutely amazing here, but I think I actually will just turn you down. Oh, that's so, so sad. Oh, Rubble's just so good, though. Oh well, I, the thing is, I don't want to take it every single time, and I, I I take it a lot, like a lot, a lot. It's just so good, especially against some bosses like Queen Dragon. It just this is annoying, really quite annoying. It's just like so good against Queen Dragon. Yeah, let's try not to die here. Uh, I may actually just end up choosing him because he's that annoying. Oh, I see what happened. That makes sense. I was wondering why they died during the reload last time, because it didn't look like they took an action. And they didn't actually take an action, because I had decoy orb. So then I was wondering how they died, because it was only bad cheese that dealt 20 AoE damage. But of course, I also have another effect that deals AoE damage now. And that is per reload, and I just so happen to also have a refresh yield. Good stuff there. Tempting. Which, which route do I want to go? Do I want to go just the Jack o Lantern route? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just go the Jack o Lantern route. I'll honestly remove that from my deck. Straight. <laughs> uh, this, is, this is actually the funniest thing in the world. Times two bombs, but I have no bombs. Versus refresh crit, but I have no refreshes. Obviously, I take Light Shaft Potion, and then I hit... Um, Fresh banana here. I think that's the best uh, avenue. I can't actually get Recombobulator, which is kind of unfortunate because I would kind of enjoy having a Recombobulator. Only 209 cash, can't do anything crazy. Yeah, see, I was completely correct. Completely co It's a 3-8. <laughs> just so tempting. Yep, so let's just take all of the stuff that does stuff, which is you. Now I just have first pandemics sticking around like a bozo. I don't even know if it was correct to pick it up. Oh well. Yep, so I imagine this will do some pretty decent damage. I do have crit scaling. I don't think I'm going to get much. You see what I mean about powder collect being so nice? And like, sure, you know, this is Coin Dragon. He is like the sandbox boss where anything is pretty good against him. But still, like, especially when you combine it with Morbid, you just get to create a bomb out of nowhere. It's so nice. Well, that's a. Uh... A lot of health left to chew through. Luckily I do get to refresh every other turn, but not getting a crit does kind of de decrease my damage by a pretty significant amount. I suspect this will be more of a tear through him kind of ordeal, because yeah we do have scaling on refresh, but it's pretty slow, slow, and like we're not doing a great job of hitting our crits and refreshes. Concentrication would have been really fun this fight. After all, I always talk about how nice Concentrication is versus Coin Dragon, and let me tell you, when you also have um, Aliens Rock, it's much, much nicer. I think we should be generally fine. Actually, our healing is unfortunate. Coin Dragon could uh, do some very unfortunate things to us normally, but I just don't think he'll be able to do that this run. We still have 91 health to work with, and um, yeah, this shot's getting 3k damage. He's only on 9k health. We've still got more coming. Like, there is definitely the risk of us transforming all of our um, eggs into bombs. 
we're actually losing, we've actually lost a pretty significant portion of the entire board here. But um, I think I'll be just fine. Even when he has his uh, whatever you want to call it attack, um, we're not even losing that much because Jack O'Bannon just gets to go again. And it, yeah, going down there is kind of unfortunate. I would like you to reset the map and do it where one of the sides is. Perhaps more than four pegs deep. Alright, four pegs deep. Whatever, I'll take it. It means I get to shoot towards this side, which just guaranteed kills him. And it kills him extremely fast, which is always fun. Just going wild there. Yeah, this was uh, really good. I I like Jacob Planet a lot. I don't get to use it as, as much as I would like. Obviously, taking Memo there and getting it to level 3 and being able to properly test it out would have been nice. But I'm not complaining too much. Like, let's be honest, did we really expect the memo to do that much? Like, sure, the plus 250 damage was actually pretty neat, and especially while I had lightning orb going, it was actually like getting a pretty decent plus flat damage. But most of the time, you just don't want plus flat damage. Like, the best form of plus flat, dam flat damage I can think of is Echo, which technically isn't even plus flat damage, but it is adding flat damage to your shots. So, I would, I do want to test out memo, and that was one of the best like testing grounds for Memorb whatsoever, but I, uh, I think the glory days of Memorb have passed. I think that it was really fun beforehand. I was, um, but yeah, I'm just remembering the Pegalum demo, me trying to defend Memorb, saying that like, yeah, you just like get your Machioska, which back then, no, back then Machioska was still just insane. But I think Memorb had, uh, well, the enemies had much lower health pools, so the flat damage from Memorb actually was quite good at like dealing with some fights. Oh, the old Minotaur fight. Oh my god, yeah, I'm just, it's all coming back to me now. But yeah, I, I, there was actually a brief uh, situation where I was actually really liking Memo. I think that this Memo is at least reasonably fair, but it's probably just not doing enough. Um, yeah, we had some absolute classic stuff going on here. Shockingly enough, we were very much focused on critting. Like, we took both of the refresh culling passives, and that just completely worked out. Hey, did we have a refresh on the board? Oh, we didn't even because of Fresh Banana. I see. So my uh, my joke about <laughs> light shaft potion. <laughs> oh, you gotta love that. Eh? Every potion never even generated crits. Um, yeah, we also had a lot of bomb spawning, which did actually get rough towards the end. There, if we were versing uh, squares, it would have been absolutely amazing. But because we were versing coin dragon, it like we were running out of picks there. I'd say we still had another like ten thousand damage left in us though uh, before we would have died. So we could have dragged on the fight a lot lot longer. And you're like, that's what the power of round guard with uh, wood on stake, refresh yield, cookie, and some other things have. Like, it just keeps you afloat for a very long time. Meanwhile, Jackal Blanton is it's trying to stack up damage. Like, Knuckles is really quite good. And refresh, of course, can only do so much for spinesse scaling. And a lot of the time, you are generally going to be hitting a crit on Jackal Blanton. Although, for that fight, it was actually kind of hard for us to hit crits because they were buried under the Coin Dragon mess. <laughs> And we didn't have Concentrication. I do always love Concentrication versus Coin Dragon just to uh, snipe those refreshes. Obviously, like, Laser also works, but Concentrication is the more common version that you're going to be picking up more often. 